Hi, I'm Vox. And I'm Raggable. And we got a cycling, I don't know. <laughs> Stick to it. Okay, so today we are covering what now? Oh, oh with Google, Google Android, G1. See okay. all the, the fancy droid commercials out and everything? Well, you can hack this bad boy to get it to almost everything that the droid can do. So you can take your old G1 and you can update it. Yes. So um, it's not a full, it's not a full 2.0, by the way, but it has some other features of 2.0. And what you do to it in the process of uh, putting that recovery image on there, you can upgrade it later on. Right. So we're showing you how to root the G1, which is giving you administrative privileges that shouldn't be there. You get full control over your own device. Yes. And uh, after it's been rooted, when a good working mod for 2.0 comes out, it'll it can run it now, but it's lacking a few features. So yeah. Anyways, so you can always uh, <laughs> upgrade later on. So Ready to roll that beautiful game footage. Yes. yes, couch guy. All right, <laughs> so you're probably running 1.5 or 1.6 right now on your G1, and uh, we're gonna have to format an SD card to do all this. It's recommended that you do so on the phone itself. Now, after formatting it, you're going to need to move over a whole mess of files. <laughs> yeah, what are these files for? <laughs> well, they're, they're, we're going to put a link to them on our show notes at twosmartguys.com. But they're basically just hacked and mod, modded recovery images and different firmwares. Different firmwares. And official firmwares. And official firmware. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> so after you get those on your uh, little micro SD card, shut off your phone, then hold down the little camera button and the power button to turn it back on, and that will boot you into recovery mode. And that'll load one of the images that you just threw on the phone. Uh, the action button is actually the little uh, track, wheel. Track, track wheel. So you just go ahead and press that in, and it'll apply the update process. This takes a few good minutes to do. OK, so this is it's loading the, the, re, the custom firmware you put on that SD card there. No, this is downgrading it. Oh, this is downgrading. This is downgrading it to a firmware that has an exploit that will allow us to install custom firmwares. Okay. <laughs> downgrading to RC57 if you're in the US. So after it's been downgraded, you get to set up your phone all over again. Yeah. And if you have an unlocked phone like me, you got to put in the AP APN because you have to have data access to access your Google account to sign in. Okay. Which is fun. So now it's been downgraded. Um, this is a cool little hack where you press enter twice and you type in Telnet D and it launches a Telnet daemon on the phone. Okay. Because apparently they left a command prop just running loose in the background. Just enter, enter, <laughs> pulls it up. And the really cool thing about it is, is you don't even need to connect to a computer to finish the hack. You can actually just download the Telnet daemon or the Telnet client from the Google Marketplace. And connect to the phone itself. And connect to the phone itself on the phone. So it's the host and the client. <laughs> so after you get the little Telnet downloaded and installed, go ahead and run that. And connect to the phone? Yes. It'll be the local host. It should be all set up by default. And port 23. Uh, connect to server. And you should get a little bit of gibberish on there. And then you get to type in this cool command where you flash um, the image recovery off of the SD card. Yeah, and we'll probably post that command in the show notes later yes. on. It'll be a full tutorial. If you mess up, don't worry, it'll tell you that you messed up. But if you don't mess up, it'll just show two hashtags. Two. Success. Yes. And it'll do absolutely nothing. But, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> Which means now that you can do what? Now you're all set up to run the, the modded recovery mode. OK. And the modded recovery gives you way more options than the previous recovery mode. OK, so. And this is the one that's going to let, that ha has the root access so that you can actually install a, an unofficial firmware case. So you reboot your phone holding down the home key this time around. Oh. And there you go. You get all these cool little commands. It's recommended that you back it up because. Then you want to repeat all these other steps. <laughs> so go ahead and, and run the little backup program, and it'll back everything up to a, the SD card. And then after that? 
then you need to apply the two little zip files. There's um, what are those zip files anyways? Are the, those are the official firmwares from uh, right. So the first one that you run is the official Google firmware. Okay. Um, and then the next one that you run is the the mod modded firmware that you run. Cyanogen mod. Yeah, it patches the firmware, the official firmware. Uh, is it the 1.6 firmware still? Uh, yeah, this okay, is this so is the 1.6. So it's patching so, the 1.6 with. The cyanogen mod. Yeah, there. So there's the basically the, the development version of 1.6 that you install. Okay. And then you patch the development version. Oh, it's a dev version. Yeah. Oh. And it's from HTC because they have to because it's Linux, right? It's open yeah, source. Open so they source. have to give out the whatever they sell. They have to distribute the source code with it. So um, that's it. Then it, your phone restarts. You got to set up Google again. Um, but now you've got a cyanogen mod. Yes. Google well, well, Android. Yeah, one of the advantages is you don't have to sign into Google right away with the modded firmware. Yay! <laughs> Although you pretty much have to if you want to go into Marketplace or anything else on the phone. Oh. So you eventually have to do it. What if you actually want to use it as a phone? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the original reason I, I was starting to do this is because I wanted to have the Google Maps navigation program, which apparently you can get now in 1.6, but it also works on this, this modded firmware. And one of the really neat things is, is you can have it show the street view of your destination. So either when you get there or if you want to skip ahead and view it, you can actually see, oh, uh, I'm going to Walmart. What does Walmart look like? And you can <laughs> point your phone around and see, oh, that's what Walmart looks like. It looks like a bunch of sagebrush out in the field. And there's a little store back there with a bunch of cars around it. Uh. <laughs> Or you can just uh, take off compass mode and manually like drag your finger around. But this is so much cooler looking. And it's really <laughs> it's really fluid too. Yeah. The, it, it, oh, the, that's the other thing. The phone's kind of overclocked in this. Oh, really? Firmware. Yeah. They overclocked it. Yeah. Cool. So that does wonders on your battery. <laughs> I'm sure. uh, what's it last? Like thirty minutes now? I don't know. It's been working all day. Uh, it's about to die actually. Oh, and layers. The other cool thing is layers. So you can turn on different layers. Like I had gas stations come up, and then I turned on satellite view. So you, instead of seeing the little lines on the road, you actually see the satellite view of where you're going. Is there a layer for whorehouses? Uh, I'm sure somebody could make one. Yeah. That's what <laughs> we really need. Well, you can overlay trips, too. So you can pull up your own trips that you've already been on. And like, uh, there's also a, like a, a modded app store or something like that on here. <laughs> kind of like uh, Cydia for the iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's one of those, too. Um, what is this thing called on here? It's called Slide. But they had an app on there that's like a GPS that tracks you can turn it on so it runs in the background and just tracks all the time. You sync it up and you can show where you've been on, on Google Maps. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here, yeah, you just you slide it in somebody's, somebody's pocket. <laughs> slide. <laughs> so, um, yeah, go to our site, twosmartguys.com, and look at the show notes for this episode. And it'll ha have links back to all the files that you need and step by step instructions, a little bit better than what we just did. <laughs> Some more but throw. Hopefully that gave you the gist of what you yes. have to do. Yes. And then you're all ready to load all kinds of cool custom firmwares whenever they put Come them out. out. Yeah. And I don't know if they, I, I'm using terminology from like PSP, but I'm sure there's other ways people refer to this like as like a, just an, another OS or a different build of the OS or. Uh, I like the idea of a custom firmware. Does your command prompt still come up with the interender? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that's, you don't have to do it anymore. Well, I just wonder, because if there's a <laughs> no. command prompt option, then, you know, It's not pulling it up. Well, no, we have, it doesn't pull it up. That, that, mo that, ha that exploit uh -huh. just means it's always running in the background. Okay. So when you press enter, enter on the home screen, it brings up the contacts, and you can see that you're typing in Telnet D, but it actually does nothing. See, I wonder if it runs like terminal, where it's like you have commands that you can run in the background, since it's a, you know, well, it's Unix Linux based. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, it was a cool, it was a cool exploit that they left open in the phone when they put it out at the time. Yeah, I'm sure they just left it there. Yeah, and it's really cool that you can uh, you can just downgrade, which is something that they don't let you do with iPhones and PSPs. Is you can just simply flash back. Yeah, the phone. It, you didn't have to work around it. It's just like, hey, you want to go back? Cool. Come on back. Yeah. Very open. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
I already, I already told everybody to go back to the website. Uh, we got forms. Um, they're recently revamped to make them a little bit easier to understand. Okay. By one of our form members, Kai. Oh, he was, so, he's been working on it. Yes, yeah, so their, their activity is ramping back up again there. And That's good. They're a little good, bit good. easier to understand. Okay. Um, DVDs. Uh, donate $10 or such, and then we ship out DVDs to you. Yep. Uh, help support our show. Thank, yep. you. Thank you very much for everybody who has. Yeah. Uh, the more you buy, <laughs> the, the sooner we start the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> 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 uh, oh, We're also working hard on our web series, Beyond the Clipping Plane. <coughs> uh, if you want to check that out, it's Are also we going to website. have an episode ready this Monday. I'm going to try really hard to have an episode out this Monday. Yeah, there's not much I'm, I can do right now. <laughs> and uh, then I can whip you. You're going to light your hair on fire for real. No, no, no. That, that doesn't give too much away. <clears throat> Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Um, same bat time, same bat channel. Wednesdays, 1030 Mountain Standard Time-ish. Okay. <laughs> uh, just, or, uh, you know... JustinTV.com. Justin.tv slash two smart guys. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.